We're using a Fisher Type 4162 pneumatic controller to control the amount of air pressure in this tank. It's a very simple process. It doesn't take a whole lot of money or time or materials to build. Our tank is nothing more than a piece of two inch PVC pipe capped off at one end, the T-fitting put at the other. And out of one side of this T-fitting, we have going to a bleed. Out the other side of the, uh, the T-fitting here, we have going to an air supply valve and then also to a pressure gauge so it can read the pressure in the tank. This air supply valve brings compressed air at a higher pressure to the valve and into the tank. Like I said, the bleed up here is a manual load that we can adjust. So this process variable pressure, this pressure inside the tank, comes down to the process variable input of our controller right here. In this case, it's a bellows unit that's measuring that pressure. Our set point on the controller is this adjustment right here. We have a proportional adjustment, the gain, and we also have the integral or reset adjustment here. So it's a PI controller, not a full PID, but a PI. As we control, or as we adjust the set point, we should be able to see that pressure go up and down. So I'm going to take the set point adjustment right now and turn it up. And as we do, we see the pressure of the air inside the tank move up. I'm going to move it till it gets to about 10 PSI. You can also see over here on this valve, it's opening slightly to get us up there. So this valve will now jockey around as it needs to to maintain the air pressure steady inside this tank. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate the controller is actually doing its job as a controller, and that is to compensate for loads. So I'm going to put my hand up here and slightly open the vent valve. As we do, of course, it's going to let more air out of the tank, but the controller is going to sense that decrease in pressure, and it's going to respond by opening up the valve and letting more air in. So let's watch. I'll open up the load slightly. We see the pressure dip down and come right back up. I open up the load valve even more. Pressure dips down and comes right back up. You can see here on the control valve, as I open up the load even more, the control valve responds by opening further. That's how it's compensating for the load. More load, more drain, more supply to hold the pressure at set point. Conversely, when I turn the load valve down, the vent valve down, I'll be bleeding less air out. I won't have to admit as much compressed air in, and you'll see the control valve go down as it maintains pressure at hand. So let's watch. So I turn the vent valve off. Pressure rises up a little bit at first. The controller senses that change, brings the control valve down to compensate. And we can also demonstrate what happens if we have improper tuning. So let's say, for example, we want to increase the gain on this controller. The dial on here is uh, listed as proportional band, so a smaller number means a higher gain. So I'm going to turn this up. That's going to make the controller act more aggressively. As I turn that up, it's going to take faster, more aggressive action to try to control pressure in the process. Now, when we do that, we look back up here, we'll notice the valve starts to cycle. In fact, the process pressure starts to cycle as well. The controller here is overreacting. This is not something that we want. It's a great demonstration of what happens when we have too much gain in the process, but it's not what we want to happen here. So I've got to come back to my gain adjustment and temper that a bit until it steadies. It's exactly like an electronic amplifier circuit that has too much gain and is getting feedback and starting to oscillate. This gain adjustment here is really like the gain of an amplifier, and what it's doing is changing uh, how much the output will swing for a given amount of input change, the gain in the system. If that's too high, the feedback will start to oscillate. So here we are again. We're controlling roughly at 10 PSI. I can open up my drain valve. It's going to compensate. We have slightly higher gain now than we did before. Very crisp action at the control valve to try to compensate. As I reduce the bleed, bleeding less air out, the control valve closes down to compensate. And that's a pneumatic air pressure controller.